Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting round two of a Operation Nail Growth challenge. So if you are a subscriber of my channel, you know that back in January, I decided to do an Operation Nail Growth challenge where I was giving myself weekly manicures, taking care of my nails and trying to grow them longer and stronger. And a lot of you participated and joined along. It was a lot of fun. And it's been a while since then. It's been over six months since that challenge and my nails were holding up amazing. They were long and strong, probably till about April when I started to get sick of them. <laughs> they were just so long that I needed to trim them down and I was craving a new shape and something shorter. So for the past couple of months, I've been rocking the shorties and now I've decided that I want them back. So that is what we are doing today. We are diving back in to Operation Nail Growth week one. I'm gonna do my best to share these manicures and update videos on Saturdays. I think last time we had a total of like seven, seven videos, seven weeks of nail growth. So I would expect around the same amount of time for the next seven weeks, you can expect a update video on Saturday. I'll try to share some of my tips, tricks, products that I'm using just to help encourage you along your nail growth journey as well. So today I'm just going to do a quick easy mani with one of the new Nail Envy polishes. So OPI recently sent me their line of Nail Envy polishes with pigment. So these are some of our favorite OPI colors with the added benefits of the Nail Envy polish. So this one is Bubble Bath and I thought this would be a great color to start with. I have used this a time or two already but it's just a great no fail classic light pink never get sick of this color. You don't need to apply it with a base coat. You can just apply two coats to your nails followed by an additional coat daily. I don't necessarily do that additional daily coat but I will do the two maybe three today um, and then we'll see how it holds up the rest of the week. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy High Gloss Top Coat. So we're gonna use this. I have a little glass file here. I'm gonna use this just to touch up my nails and then of course we're gonna finish with some Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil which is just my personal secret and favorite product for growing longer, stronger, healthier nails. Let me show you what we're working with to begin. So these are my nails right now. There's actually a little bit of growth on them. They're not that short. I rounded them up recently. There's no breaks or anything. I may buff them just a little bit on the surface to smooth out any of these like, like these little guys, can you see that? So we're just gonna start with that. I sat down to film a Manny video not too long ago, but it feels like it was so long ago. And I feel like so much has happened since then. I have been completely engrossed in the Scandaval scandal. I don't know if you guys have. What a train wreck that you cannot look away from. I've never been a Vanderpump Rules viewer. I think the only time I watched Vanderpump was the very first season and the very first episode or two because it was a huge Beverly Hills housewife fan. And if you remember back then, they introduced pump rules immediately after a Beverly Hills episode. And it literally, it was the coolest transition. They had Brandy Glanville walking into sir or wherever they were to sit down and have a conversation with Sheena because she had been sleeping with her husband or she had slept with her husband. So that was a really cool way to introduce a new show, a new set of characters. Um, and I did watch it then, but I think that was the only time. So I haven't really kept up with any of the pump rules drama or the cast. I've always been familiar with them. Like I always knew about Stassi and Jax and Dodie and I don't know, I've, I've seen them all in the news, but really didn't keep up with any of their lives. So when this happened, I just hopped right into the current season. And I think it was around, I forget what episode. I think I watched maybe the last three or four episodes of the season in addition to the finale. Episode three of the finale aired last week. I'm filming this on Wednesday. So tonight I think it's unseen footage. So I won't get to talk about that in this video, but maybe next week we can. But I don't have anything great to watch lately. Succession just ended and that was one of our go-to shows. So I'm really sad that that's over. Were there any Succession fans out there? Did anybody watch? I won't spoil it if you haven't yet, but I was personally really happy and satisfied with the ending. I think it was the absolute best way to end the show. I think everyone got what they deserve. I'll leave it at that. So I love the Nail Envy Nail Strengthener, like the regular clear base coat. So I think it's awesome that they came out with a line of colors. I honestly don't know how new this is. I mean, I was just sent it. I just saw it for the first time this past month. It's brilliant. Anytime I can eliminate a base coat, I'm all for it. This polish goes on really smooth. It is a little sheer though. <clears throat> Last time I used it, I think I needed to do three coats. So we'll see today how many I can get away with. I don't know if it's too early to be painting my nails. I might give myself another manicure this weekend because it's my birthday weekend. And of course you wanna have fresh nails for your birthday. My birthday is on Father's Day, so we'll see how it holds up. But we have so many plans this weekend. I normally don't do much. Like we are pretty big homebodies, I would say, but 
On Friday, we're going to this like food truck festival thing. And then Saturday, Dan's sister is having a little barbecue. Saturday night, I'm going out with some of my cousins and family for my birthday. And then Sunday is my actual birthday and Father's Day. So we're gonna spend the day with my dad. Depending on what the weather's gonna be like, I really wanna lay by the pool, but it's kind of crummy. Dan and I may go shopping, a little birthday shopping. I'm like dying to get some new clothes. If you read my blog, you'll know that I revived my What I Wore This Week series, which is something that I started back in like 2016 maybe when I was still working. And it was a way for me to get re-inspired in the morning when I was getting dressed and just get creative with my wardrobe, try to be a little more stylish. And it really forced me to use and wear the different pieces I had in new ways. Also made it more fun to go shopping just to find pieces that I could incorporate into my weekly outfits. And over the years, I've brought it back here and there when I felt like I was in a bit of a style rut. And I brought it back three, four weeks ago at this point. So I'm in week four right now. Um, the past two days were a little frumpy for me because I was away this past week with my mom and my sister. So Monday and Tuesday, I was kind of like getting back into the swing of things, doing laundry, working from home. Like it was kind of like a loungewear situation. But today I woke up finally. It was a hair wash day. I might be meeting my girlfriend for dinner later so we put on like actual clothes and I feel so much better but if you want to check out that series just to even inspire yourself you can find that on my blog amanda-bella.com these are dry already I like how quick dry this is I just snap a picture in the mirror every morning of what I'm wearing upload it try to link all the pieces or something similar and it's really for me it's really for me to get myself you know up and out and and looking normal and it works it's fun when you start to get into it and then and then you start to plan outfits I I really enjoy it. My mom just texted me to see if I wanted to go for a walk later because we try to walk during the week and I do want to walk but you know the days when you just get like dressed and ready and like you do your hair and you look cute and you don't really want to like ruin it? I'll probably walk with her though. I'll just get changed real quick. Index finger got a little streaky. I think I'm definitely gonna have to do three coats. But last time I used this polish it held up for a good amount of time so I think it should get me through the weekend. If I change the manicure for whatever reason. I'll be sure to update you next week and let you know. But last time I did my Operation Nail Growth Challenge, it was a huge success. I did regular manicures for the first probably two or three weeks, I would say, before I switched over to gel. I haven't been doing many gel manicures lately just because I get kind of bored with the colors and I like to be able to change them. And if I do a gel, I try to wear it for at least two, sometimes three weeks. It's the easiest way for me to get my nails to grow. They're a little stronger. They have a little extra protection and reinforcement. At some point, I probably will move over to gel. But I've decided recently that I want to have a French manicure summer. I just love French manicures. I was obsessed with them at the beginning of the year. If you saw my videos, you know that I was rocking the French for quite a while. I just love them. I never get sick of them. I did that ombre French, which was really unique. I did it with like the little sparkles in it. And it just made me so happy. I like absolutely loved the French Manny life. It just goes with everything. It's so classy. I love how it makes my fingers and hands look. I thought that once I grew my nails out, maybe I would commit exclusively to French manicures. We'll see. Okay, these are a little tacky on coat too, but you can see, see how they're a little streaky? They look good, but they need a third coat for sure. So we will definitely do that. My cuticles are definitely a little dry. I haven't been using my oil much lately. If you don't know, Sweet Almond is my cuticle oil. I launched this last year. We're actually approaching the one year anniversary. So next week, the 21st, will be the one year anniversary of this product. And I've been planning a really special celebration promotion. I'm still working out the details, but this time next week, you will be able to purchase this, hopefully with a nice little discount and a little freebie. I actually have to pick some stuff up for that today, but I absolutely love this cuticle oil. The way that it has transformed my nails and my life is just so real. I'm so proud of it. I continue to use it almost daily, except recently I've been like I mentioned, slacking, but I leave bottles of this everywhere. I have it at the office. I have it at my house, in the kitchen, in the living room, right next to my bed, whenever I'm just lounging. Oh, always a bottle in my purse. I have a bottle in Dan's truck. Whenever I'm just hanging out, I like to apply a little bit and I love to apply it on my toes too. You know how your toes sometimes get dry in the summer? Just put a little bit of this around your nail beds and it'll just take care of some of that dryness and any damaged cuticles. So it works so well. And my favorite thing is to see all of your results. We've had some really good feedback. I'm very proud of it and we're definitely working on new products for hopefully the end of the year, but we'll see. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Oh, I love this. I feel like it's a little more peachy than bubble bath. I don't know. That's just my eye. Or if I haven't worn bubble bath 
the original in a while, but it's still a very beautiful, like, neutral pink. I do like to apply it a little heavy. I have a pretty good bead on my brush, and then I just work with the polish, rolling it over, versus, you know, working with a smaller amount. I think it just gives better coverage. Oh yeah, see the difference between three coats and two coats? That's perfect. Oh, I love them. So before this, I had a really pretty like purple manicure on. I think it was a Lights Lacquer Polish. I forget the color was called. I have it over there somewhere, but it was beautiful. I ended up loving it a lot more than I thought I would, but I also <laughs> ended up wearing it a lot longer than I thought I would. While that's okay, I sometimes get sick of the same color. It was also starting to chip and you know that's like so bad for your nails. So I was so happy this morning to remove it. I'm struggling with the fact that I am a true neutral girly. I love the neutral nails. I love the French, I love the pinks. Um, they just make me the happiest. And when I paint my nails, I kind of want to do them like nine out of 10 times. Every once in a while I like to stray, but for the most part, I like to keep them plain. And I'm just wondering how that's gonna work for me moving forward with this channel because, you know, I don't want to use too many crazy colors. Got a little bit in the nail bed here, so I just want to scoop it up. Last one, you're done. Now they say you can leave it. You don't need a top coat, but I don't know. I think I really want a top coat. But do you see how much better three coats looks? They look great. Definitely took care of the streakiness. I'm not sure how all of the Nail Envy polishes will wear, but for this lighter shade, you definitely want three coats. A couple of the darkers, you might be able to get away with two, but I always like that deep, richer pigment. Unless I'm going for more of a jelly sheer look, um, I prefer this. I really should wait a minute. I get so antsy. When you paint your nails, are you just so antsy to get to the next coat? like I have it right here. They feel kind of dry, but I know if they're not totally dry, the top coat will pull and tug at that color, kind of ruin your manicure, so I don't want to do that. But I do like this top coat. I use it a lot. I mentioned earlier, it's the high gloss top coat, the Sally Hansen color therapy line. It's very liquidy, which I like. It makes it easy to work with. You can tell it's not like really thick. Like this is a thicker, base coat. Almost, almost. I like to wait till you don't really get that fingerprint. We're gonna apply a really generous top coat. I think a generous top coat is the key. We're also gonna seal the edge here. So far, no pulling at the color, so that's great. I think having a lot of product on the brush really helps. Ugh, fresh Manny just makes me feel like a new woman. It really does. That's my favorite part about manicures. They can completely transform your mood, your attitude, your style. They just bring you to life a little bit. I still give my mom a manicure every week. We actually skipped Monday's manicure. I'm gonna do it tomorrow for her. She always says the same thing too. It just is such a nice thing to have. And if you can do your nails yourself, I highly encourage it. It's nice to go to the salon once in a while, but it's nice to be able to do it at your own convenience from the comfort of your home. We are done. Minus the oil. I don't wanna put it on too, too soon. We'll just go around the cuticles here. That is a wrap. All right, here is the final product. Excuse the overload of cuticle oil. I really just threw it on there. I should rub it in a little. There we go. These look amazing, and I don't think this is gonna take a full seven weeks to get them to my ideal length. I would say maybe in four weeks, we will be in a really great spot. I don't even wanna go as long and almondy as I normally do. I really wanna keep them just like a manageable length that doesn't annoy me. Sometimes when they get too long, they look amazing, but they're just hard to live with and work with. So I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. If you are gonna join me on this Operation Nail Growth journey, leave a comment below. Let me know what your ultimate goal is just to rehab your nails and cuticles or grow your nails longer and stronger. Very curious to hear your goals and happy to have you participating with me. I might do a giveaway in some of these videos. I should have planned one today, but I didn't really put it together yet. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming. Um, I am going to go enjoy the rest of this day. Hopefully get a walk-in with my mom before it rains. I have to work on a blog post recapping our trip from the weekend. Hopefully that's up tomorrow. And this video should be live on Saturday. So keep an eye out on Saturdays for these Operation Nail Growth videos. Round two of 2023 is officially in effect. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.